hey, when you get a haircut this bad, it's deserving of making two videos. And this one, I'm going to talk to you about why I am not a genius, right? <laughs> but, <laughs> in fact, I'm not a lot of things. I was doing something that I don't do very often. Yesterday, I was reading the Bible, just a little bit, just a few paragraphs, you know, and was finding out all the things I'm doing wrong, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, anyway, you know, it happens to me quite a bit. People say that I'm a genius, I've been compared to Einstein, you know, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. And it happens frequently. And it's not, you know, it's because I talk about things that I'm familiar with and that, you know, that have come to me that are obvious to me, like making a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Because when you see it, it's there and it doesn't make you smart. See, I don't talk about the things I don't know about because I'm pathetic. <laughs> I'm pathetic, you know. Um, don't ask me how to, you know, fix anything in the car. Nothing. Uh, and, and, and that list goes on and on. So, but here's the thing, and, and I'm going to talk to you about some things that I have come up with, you know, that maybe other people haven't come up with, but it's not, it's not that I'm bragging about it. I want you to see the improvement that has occurred in my life in so many different ways, from where I was to where I am now, and, and, and the reason for them, of course, is the fact that I have exposure to all of these heartfelt energizers running in my place. I have the oscillating ones and the non-oscillating ones, you know, going from 12 inches down to 4 inches running here. So it's it's just so true that I, I start to notice more things. But also, I must give a lot of credit to the question in my book. This, this video is brought to you, by the way, by my book here, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? Is there a question that heals instantly? And of course, the doctor who cures cancer. Um, the question that I ask, and I'm going to give it to you right now, why not? Uh, is why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? Why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? And the book explains it, how it works, why it works, why it's particularly worded the way that it is, and, and, and all of that. And a, and a whole lot more. So uh, that question has gotten me into into asking questions about everything. And when I say everything, I mean it can be a piece of lint. You know, it can be why did it take that shape as opposed to a different shape? And not that I need an answer right away, but just that my mind is working in that way. Uh, I had to pick a couple things up that I dropped on the floor. You know, that's a problem for me with the metal rod in my back. And I came up with two or three different ways to pick it up. So it, it, it makes my life easier when that happens. Because the, the, the initial way would be, oh, this is going to be hard to do, very straining. But then I, you know, it's just like boom, 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 things pop in. And so it helps me that way. And sometimes I come up with a half dozen ways to do something simple like that. And it, it, the question and the, and the noticing of things, whether it's a piece of lint or if it's something big, it's all the same it, because the answers will come to you and, and they'll be just as plain in either case. And, it, and in any case, you'll get yourself into the habit of asking questions that will give you insights and connections uh, that you know, it's something you'll pull from, from you know, 10, 20 years ago, and, and then you'll make that connection, and you'll see something, and you go, "Oh, that's right, I remember this, that," and then you remember, the, remember something you dealt with today, you know, and, and, and so it works like that. And so th these other things, I I get clarity from the heartfelt energizers. Oh, I, this is really really important. Go back and watch the video. That I have t uh, two videos ago where it's just five minutes of using the heartfelt energizer. This is the, it's the most important video I've ever made, that one. Not this one, that one. Because what you're going to do is not only are you going to put it on loop and explain how to do that in the description on YouTube, 
how to do that, but you're also going to duplicate the address, the YouTube address, enter it in multiple times. I have it, I have it running 10 times right now simultaneously. And what that does is that that energy is going out 10 times instead of one time. So if each of us do, does that, we could have miracles. And I, and I got to tell you, since I've done that, this is the first time I've ever done it. <laughs> it's amazing. It, it doesn't fix bad haircuts, but it does a lot of other things. So you want to pull up that video, have it playing in the background. You can have the music soft or louder, however you want it, in the background. It, by having the music on, it will tell you, you know, YouTube will loop it many times, maybe 10, 20, 30 times, I don't know. But when you stop hearing the music, you know it's time to, you know, hit the, hit the uh, replay button and do it again. Check to see if it needs to be looped or not. I'm not sure if you'll need to do that or not. And you see, by me doing this 10 times, you doing it however many times you want to do it, etc., we're going to multiply instantly how many units have, are in play all at once. So it's like, boom. <laughs> so, so these are the things that come to me because I'm getting, I'm getting clarity because the, you see the energizers are moving the, the uh, fluid in my brain faster because it's stimulating the cilia that are in my brain in the third ventricle and also in the pineal gland, which is about the same place, they're pretty cl they're real close to each other. Um, the pineal is a, is a gland, I guess. Yeah, pineal gland. And it has blood flowing through it to the brain and, and back out. So it's obviously very important. And it has the cilia. So the cilia is there to move the blood fluid, right? And we want that blood fluid to be maximized because the brain fluid that goes down the spine it's got layers of rivers, and I think it's in the Bible. I heard this yesterday, um, that there are rivers that come together. It says that in the Bible you know, from 2,000 years ago. So somebody knew something, maybe, is, or is it a coincidence that they talk about rivers, rivers of light. So we're moving this through our brain to wash out, to power wash, the dead cells and the, and the waste products are in our brain so that it can function the way that it's supposed to rather than having a stagnant pond. Because a stagnant, stagnant is toxic, right? You know, anywhere you go, you see a stagnant pond, if it's been stagnant long enough, it's, it's full of yuck, right? It's got mold and algae and blah, 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 and all that. So, so I'm helping move that moving the, the cilia in my ears, in my nose, in my throat, in my, uh, let's see, oh, lymph system. Um, it's in the pancreas. I know in women it's in the ovaries. Um, there's probably other places where they find it, you know, because they're real tiny hairs. They've been pretty much ignored, but they're right on voltage. So this thing kicks it, kicks it off. It's been shown back Richard Smith showed us a long time ago that the cilia's movement is based on the ions it's exposed to, and these frequencies generate the ions for you so that your brain cilia move better. So the, flu the brain fluid is moving and the blood fluid is moving better. So this helps me to be clearer in my mind. And, you know, so this is, this is vital for everybody. So if you want to have that, then I would suggest that you do two things. One, you go find the video, and I'll link down in the, in the description on YouTube that you can click on it multiple times and have it running on loop. And then when you stop the music, hear the music stop, go back and, and uh, replay it and check to see if you need to loop it again. And, and just do that. And not only will we be getting that energy, it would be magnificent, but I believe it will go right on through to all of your pets and to your family members and your neighbors and everybody. And it's going to remove the fear that people have of getting sick because they're going to start feeling so much better. 
we're winning this, baby. We are winning this. We are winning it. We are winning it. And, and it's, it's not even close how much we're winning. This is nothing but winning. If you like winning, this is it. We are going to turn this world into one big, massive Garden of Eden. It, we've had one before, and we kind of forfeited it. And now we're going back, and we're changing it how, how we are to make this a better world. So these energizers will help everything on the physical level. And the question not only helps us physically, but it also takes us into the land of, of grace and miracles. And that's a different set of rules. Different set of rules. It's not cause and effect. It's heaven. And in heaven, everything runs fine. It, it is not challenging to be in heaven. That's the difference between the earthly realm and the heavenly realm. Nothing is challenging. And you can experience that here in the earthly realm when you do those two things, when you ask yourself the question when you need to, twice, and you use your heartfelt energizers. The heartfelt energizers are needed because right now we are subjected uh, every second of every day to all the electronics of the 5G, the 4G, the 3G, the Wi-Fi, the smart beaters, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, and so it's, it can be a challenge if we just try to use our spiritual self to stay in balance when the physical self is constantly getting played with because it's, it's, you know, it's going to say, well, wait, I'm getting tired here. Can you help me out? And so that's what, this, that's what the Heartfelt Energizers are designed to do is to help you out, is to elevate you on the physical to the point where the spiritual becomes a piece of cake particularly when you ask yourself the question that's in the book. Well, thank you for uh, listening in, and I'll put the link down there for you to, to run multiple times this video where it's nothing but the Energizer running. And we, we just had a quantum leap today. This is a quantum leap. Whatever that means, quantum. It's bigger than quantum. It's humongous. <laughs> you take care. And God bless.